another episode of Crypto News Webcast. We're going to continue our episodes and series of Research Truth. If you haven't been watching or following, I advise you to start checking out the new webcast uh, research uh, shows. Um, you can find them right here on the YouTube channel, ECBRO98, and check out their our, uh, playlist for their, the latest uh, uploads. So meanwhile, let's go ahead and get started. Stay tuned. Back to the Crypto News webcast. Today we're going to take a good look at some researchers and their work out in the field. We're going to take a look at see what we might be able to learn from them. Well, and you're going to be the judge. I'm just here to present the work. Then we're going to get into some other discussions. We're going to touch base on my previous uh, shows uh, referring to Bigfoot dermal ridges, primate dermal ridges, and human dermal ridges. In the footcast illustration that I showed, I want to present something that will back up my knowledge of what I presented and shared with everybody. But first, we're going to jump right into a video. We're going to take the next 20 minutes to view a video, and you be the judge. In this video, what is being called common sense, think about what is being said, listen to it very carefully. Is this common sense contradictory versus what he says about facts? Are books garbage? Now, I want to make a statement before you watch this video. I want you to listen and hear very carefully. Learn to comprehend what I'm sharing with you. All right? Books give a lot of information. Books share details. Books use illustrations to help get the point across, to help make things that make sense to you and me. All right? There's a lot of common sense out there. There's things that should be common sense, but anyone who's been outdoors enough or most of their life, anyone who's hunted, anyone who researches and understands wildlife, they know what a lot of wildlife are capable of doing, okay? And for those who know and believe in Sasquatch, such as me, and I'm sure most of you that are viewing this, will agree that there's a possibility that Sasquatches are responsible for some tree breaks, tree structures, formations, possible shelters. Now keep in mind, a lot of these shelters that we find, they're pretty uh, interesting. Some of these structures that form shelters, bears are very responsible for a lot of these shelters. Because bears will use fallen timber, limbs, and trees to use as a temporary home or shelter for bedding all right so within the showing this next video um, I'm only using this for educational purposes and you will see more but today I want to feature this video from YouTube user Freddy 59 100 take a look okay I'm going to start with basics. I'm going to start kindergarten. This right here is a break. Where's the break going? It's going that way. It's called a directional. You don't need a book. Dang it. You don't need a book to tell you how, which way that stick's going. It's common sense. Anybody can do that. Okay? Now we're going to get up here and we're going to see some shit. Okay? And I'm going to explain to you why they did it and what the reason was for. Okay? So I don't kill myself walking up the hill here. Okay. This right here. Baby talk. Tree bows over. Twist it here. Comes out. Comes right across to you there. And what do you know? There's a bend right there. There's a break right there. Okay, now, that right there is a marker sign. Okay, you come over here, and oh Lord have mercy, you got a stick, you got the tree bent right there, and you got this break over top of it. Purpose, hold it in place. It's directional. 
but it means a couple other things. Depends on how you, depends on how you word it and how you figure it. Okay. Now you start noticing I got bends all the way up through here. Okay. You got one right there. Look at that. That is twisted. It is twisted this way. Okay. You don't need a book to read that. You don't need a book to figure that out. Damn, folks, it's called common sense. I can study and study and study. They don't mean a fucking hill of beans. You've got to get out in the goddamn woods and, and observe, study, touch, feel. Put yourself in their shoes, in their feet. And you will start to see. Look at this right here. Look at this right here. Look at that. That's coming down toward me. Okay, and there's another one. Yeah, that's the same tree. Comes right down right. Comes down right there. Comes down. Let me back it up here. Comes down. Go up. It comes all the way out right, right there. Okay, you got this tree right here. Bent. Hmm. Is it the wind? No. Why is trees bowed this way? But yet you see trees up in there bent this way. You got trees going that way, and you got trees going that way. Hmm. Must be a crosswind. No, the wind blows from right to left. Common sense. If the wind hits 80 miles an hour, it will bend the trees and make them, won't make them stick, but they'll bend. Now, if you're on the side of a mountain and the wind constantly blows one way, yeah, you're going to get the trees standing like that. But we're not deep in the mountains. We're off the main road, off, off, off the coal roads, you know. I mean, it's so freaking simple, folks, you know. You don't need books to learn how a tree acts, you know. Trees have different textures. You got soft trees, like this right here. This is a, this is a small, this is a uh, sassafras. See how that bends right there? You let go and it'll slowly bend back up. You take this right here and you bend it. Okay, now watch. Boing. Now, can the wind make that tree stay like that? Only if it's a only if it's a constant 100 mile an hour wind, 24/7. That's the only way it can do it. You know? I mean, I see structures, bend tree structures all over the goddamn place. You know? I done got fired up now. I'm gonna start raising, going off, and I won't give a shit who cares. I'm just getting to the point where I got a lot of aggravation to get out. Okay, here we go. Look at this. That tree is, this tree is healthy, as you can see. But why in the world did it bend? Hmm. This tree was snapped. This right here happened probably about, ten, about five or six years ago. And it's still got enough gumption in the ground to keep, make it look good. But it was not naturally bent like that. It was pulled like that. It snapped. It is a marker. Okay. Now, let me continue on. Look up in there. Look at all the shit right there. Look at that right there. Look at that. Look at that right there. And I am hearing <clears throat> bipedal walk right over there, right now. I'm hearing crunch, 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 crunch. They're over in front of me, about 30 yards down, and they're cutting across. They're following me right now. But let them follow me. I'm good. Okay, you know, but like I said, you know, Eat these trees is everything has got a purpose and books do not teach you how to read a tree how what makes a tree bend why it makes that tree bend well you got to study the in nature you got to understand why they bent that tree you've got to understand 
what was the purpose of bending that tree or breaking that tree and twisting it everything has got a meaning and in Sasquatching it everything has a meaning you learn I'm learning break point it going up that way they're over there right now when I walk he walks when I stop it stops and he's in the thick and I smell him he's right over there he's right there within between 10 and 2 o'clock in front of me okay let him follow me that's cool that's what I want him to do okay you got okay well I mean just look you know you got yeah you got shit everywhere like hmm let's pick a good one here ah okay let's go here hmm let's see if the wind did it let me see here oh what do you know you got a tree bend you got another one coming across there you got one broken cross there look at that one two three four five it's a shelter folks it's a partial shelter you can see where something was laying right in there you got that limb comes over this way over here you got this stick right here here you got this little piece right here underneath of it you got that stick right there you got the other stick right on the other side of it you got that piece right there going up got that tree going up holding it that way okay and you got that one that goes all the way around okay this is a shelter this is a preformed shelter okay and that's what you got and that means that they stopped and rested that means it's a it's a fucking shelter folks it's common sense Let me see here. You see, it don't look like much from the when you get when you get away from it, but when you get up there, you see a structure. You got trees bent this way. Look at this, real fresh. I'm talking real fresh. Look at that. That was just done, not too long ago. Okay. Osio iya niha. Osio iya niha. Wushka yate. Okay. Now look at here, going up through there, woo, trees are being bent everywhere, you know? Hmm, I wonder why. Maybe the wind blew them like that. I doubt that. Hmm, look at this one. Boom, under. This was almost an axe or a hatchet or something, you could tell. Look at that. Some idiot was chopping. But. Fortunately, I can tell the difference. Right over here. Right down there. Look at that. Boom. Structures. Damn. Ain't that a miracle? But like I said, folks. Whoop. Whoop. Like I said, folks. You don't need a book. To tell you what things are. God damn. I mean, if you were studying something that was already known and discovered and everything, and everybody knew anything about it, that's cool. Look at this right here. You got one going up. You got one going over. You got some coming this way. You got some going that way. You got this right here bent over. Boom. Broke right there. Just look. Right there. What do you see? You see an X. Damn, ain't this a miracle, folks? We are finding, we are discovering for the first time without reading a book. You don't need a fucking book to Sasquatch, man. If you got to read a book on learn how to read bear tracks, how to read deer tracks, well, that's okay if it's if you're out in the woods for the first time and trying to learn something about nature. That's fine. But when you've been out here for so many years doing this. And you've got to read a book on what to look for and how to look for it. You ain't that bright. I mean, it's cool to study, you know, if it's something that you're interested in. 
Becoming an expert does not mean read a book. It means get your ass out in the fucking woods, understand it, look at it, touch it. <coughs> look how they bend it. Like, uh, hmm, let me give you a good example here, okay? Uh, let's see here. Let me give you a real good example here. And this is a second grade level that I'm talking about. Let me find something real good here. Uh, hmm. Let's see. I want to give a good example. Okay, let's do this right here. Let's make this as simple as possible. See? See that broken tree right there? That broken tree. Right smack in front of me. Right there where I'm zooming in. Now, if you look on the ground, oh, Lord have mercy, there's a fucking trail. Which way it sticks going? Jesus Christ, and I had to read a book to learn that. You bend this right here. Okay, this is a softwood. Okay, common sense. You bend it. What you're doing is you're stretching. Get it back here. You're stretching from here all the way up to here. All right, you're you're you know you're you're stretching. You know, like a rubber band. From here to here, my finger is. You are. It's like winding in a boat. You're drawing it inward. Backside is outward, underside is inward. You put enough pressure, you will stretch the outside and you will contract the inside. And that well, inside will stick closed and the outside will stay stretched because you don't stretch the fibers, you know. Just look. Just look everywhere. I mean, you can see shit bent everywhere now people say oh that's weather doing that really they're not being bent downhill they're being bent from oh let's say one o'clock to, to eight o'clock okay this is coming let me do this again this is coming like this okay the trees were coming. All right, here's the slope. The trees ain't pointed downhill. They're pointed from one, from seven to one. In this case, from one to seven on the Cybers Ridge, coming downhill. Down here, you got trees being pulled uphill, like this one, uphill. Damn, it takes it takes a book to tell me that. You know, I've got squatches in here. I've got bear in here. I know fucking bear tracks. I've been seeing them all my life. I've seen squatch tracks. I have such tracks. Oh, wait a minute, one more, one more. Look at this. Look at this right here. Oh, what do you know? You got one right there and one right there bent like this here. Ooh, wow. And right next to it, guess what? It goes from left to right. Oh, shit. It took a book to get me to learn that. Yeah, I'm raising hell. And I don't give a shit who knows either. You know, I'm getting sick of people, you know, saying this and saying that, you know. Yeah, I pissed Daniel off. I did it on purpose. For the fact is to make him learn to understand how he words stuff. I mean, I'm not pissed off at him for what he said. I am aggravated at the way he said it. And I put a plan together to piss him off and get him to start raising hell back. And he says, no, like he's got one out now called invisibility or something else like that. And I can agree with some of the stuff he's talking about. Because a squash is not paranormal 
A squatch is not an alien. They are flesh and blood. When a squatch turns invisible, what's he do? He steps back in the brush or he moves behind a tree where there's a lot of cover. And sometimes he can stand right next to the tree out in cover and you can walk right by him and never see him. Gee, it took a book to tell me that. You know, look at this. Just walking. Boom, what do I got? Right here. You look down there. Look at that. Yeah, let me zoom in and let you look real good. Look at that. You got two trees going from right to left, uphill, and right below it, you got an X. Oh my God, it took a book to tell me that. You know, everybody's got their own theories to turn them on. Mine is getting out here doing it. I might have a ninth grade education, but goddamn, I'll tell you folks, I know my fucking shit. Most people don't know it. <laughs> I'm known all over the fucking world, man, you know? And I'm not saying I'm the best researcher in the world. I'm not the best person to talk to sometimes. But I, people get my point more when I talk to them and teach them through my, through my talking. I do it two ways. I could put it in a school form of this is how you do it in school now. You take and you put this over here and you draw a line, you do this here. Bullshit. I don't do that. I teach by, by making it a story to a point. When you. Motherfucker still follow me, man. He's over there out here. Now, I can't walk down the hill that way and go around the field. I'm just going to go straight down because he's going to stay in the woods and watch me. And I know he's there. He knows <laughs> He knows I'm raising hell, so he's keeping his distance, which is good boy. You know, but come on, folks. You got cast potatoes like, like uh, yesterday. I read, a, or I read a comment that was on my YouTube that when me and Daniel interviewed Connie Fox. That motherfucker don't know his goddamn ass from holding ground. Why, I don't believe this, I don't believe it. Who gives a flying fuck what you think, buddy, you know? I Yeah, I took up for Connie. Connie's a researcher, and she's a dear friend of mine. And I don't like people fucking with my people. I consider her my people because she's one of the ones who, she's like me, she gets out there. And she puts the foot to the ground, and she goes. And that's good. Whoop! Whoop! Do 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 Maybe not, you know. But when you see a structure, don't read a book on tell me and on what that book. I think everything that. was said very clear. Everything was his point was being made for what he says and what he was stating as his own fact. Okay. Um. You, like I said, I'm this video is for educational purposes only, and with everything he was saying. You've already heard my opinion about it. It's, I mean, but I think it's pretty clear. <laughs> there was, I guess some of you might say it was him, uh, you know, he was being a hypocrite. But, you know, at the same time, it's being contradictive. When you're trying to speak about saying, well, this person here, it's all he talks about is facts. Well, yes, I do. I talk about facts. But... Anyone who's been following my research knows the facts that I talk about are known wildlife. Their behaviors, their actions, their tracks, everything. Wildlife, are known wildlife that's acknowledged, that there's facts about them. And that's what I share. Simple as that. Anyone who follows and listens and comprehends with knowledge knows and will identify this. Okay? I, didn't, I don't do what he does. I don't do or go about saying every tree break 
is from Sasquatch. I don't say, well, this is a directional. Now, one thing I will give him credit on. Yeah, the tree break that was pointing down. Yeah, it was pointing in the direction he was pointing. Okay. Or, okay. Or the other one that was bent over facing 2 o'clock or whatever it was he said. <laughs> How do we know that which direction is pointing? We don't know where he's He's making a video in the middle of the woods. Which direction is... We don't know from his point of view on the video. North, east, south, or what... And apparently he's claiming himself as an expert on weather and stating that wind only blows one way. Wow, that's a new one for me. Never heard that wind blows in only one direction. No, it does not. It blow, the wind will blow wherever it goes. It blows all over in every direction, north, east, south, and all in between. That's a fact. So... Now we have a Sasquatch expert, you know, uh, stating his own facts, and also he's uh, <laughs> stating that he's an expert on weather. Um, anyway, I think that was enough to explain. All right, and gentlemen, before we leave tonight, before we end the show, and stay tuned after this last uh, little clip that I want to share with you. Um, stay tuned. Watch, watch, check out the advertisements at the end of the show when we go and when this ends. Um, but right now, here's a little message, uh, and this is sponsored by the Crypto Blast. And um, here's a few words from Shelly Montana. Let's hear it, Shelly. this a Bigfoot DNA collection kit. It's actually a wildlife DNA collection kit. When doing proper field research, Bigfoot is the last thing we should consider. I just want Bigfoot researchers to follow proper forensic procedures. Come on people, pro-proof is truth. Montana for those uh, words makes a lot of sense I couldn't agree more and thank you again for the sponsorship of the crypto blast if you haven't done so check out their YouTube channel the crypto blast check them out and also their website the crypto you might learn something they share post a lot of research on there uh, a lot of um, editorials uh, miss DC uh, she has some great editorials on there, and she's watching, she's listening all through social media, she sees a, a lot that's being observed, and other researchers are sponsored on their website, with their videos and field work, and so forth. So, um, I advise you to check that out. Meanwhile, you keep an eye out for our next show. It's going to be worth checking out. You're going to see more and more researchers in their field, and when I say um, not... Uh, researchers in the field they're also experts in their field and let me clarify that because some of you don't understand when I say experts in their field these experts are experts in the field of anthropology primatology biology and so forth I'm not relating these experts anywhere with Bigfoot even though they share some details relating to the subject of Bigfoot, but their expertise are in their field of study.